you can get dermatomyositis as a perineoplastic of ovarian cancer. If you guys haven't heard that before, they ask that on the eosinoi. It's not like one specific ovarian cancer. Like it can be serous adenoma or serous adenocarcinoma of the ovary. It's not one specific one, but just ovarian cancer in general can cause dermatomyositis. And there's some statistic where it's like up to 25% of women who have dermatomyositis actually have an underlying ovarian lesion. Okay. And then you say the brother rheumatoid arthritis. I mean, I would have to see the question. Okay. But in general, autoimmune diseases go together. So like if you have an autoimmune disease and a different autoimmune disease in the patient or a family member, that increases the likelihood of autoimmune diseases. So if they give you, let's say, what they, uh, one of the examples they really like is primary biliary cirrhosis, which will be a woman 20s to 50s with high ALP, high direct bilirubin, high cholesterol, generalized pruritus. And they'll give you, let's say, an autoimmune disease. They'll say like the brother has RA. She has history of autoimmune uh, subacute granulomatous decorving thyroiditis four years ago. So they like giving you a history of autoimmune disease.